Hi, uh, good day. I'm Sunil Subramanian here, uh, MD of Sundaram Mutual Fund. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about our exciting uh, new fund offering. The name of the fund is Sundaram Multi Asset Allocation Fund. Uh, we are going to, in this fund, allocate your money across three asset classes, equities, uh, debt and gold. So as you may be aware, uh, as an equity investor, this is mainly intended for those who already have exposure to equities. Equity markets are volatile and you tend to go through phases where equity gives you very good returns and then phases when equity doesn't do so well. This is very linked often to economic news, is linked often to liquidity flows into the market and the like. So while you all enjoy the good returns from equity, one knows that one would also like to protect yourself from the volatility of equities. Now typically in the market there have been in existence hybrid products such as uh, aggressive hybrids, uh, balance advantage funds, uh, which give you a mix of equity and debt uh, in order to cool down the volatility of it without giving up too much of the returns. How these work is that the debt component is not so volatile. You know that uh, the bank rates or the government of India's rates or the debt market rates have hovered between the 6 to 8 percent over a long period of time and that constant return band of 6 to 8 or something from the debt markets tends to cool down. However, these products do however, lack a significant uh, aspect. What is that? Is that these are generally in the form of uh, putting a speed cutter onto your car. That is, if you say that I will not do more than 60 and prevent yourself. So when volatility in the market, I would equate it to a speed breaker or a pothole. So when your car goes into that, these products, hybrid products, which is having debt in them, protect you because you are anyway not going at high speed. So your the impact of going over a speed breaker or a pothole is much less, right? And then they give you protection. But obviously in that process, when the highway is clear, you are not in a position to accelerate and go fast, right? So these products by nature, while they protect you the downside, they also prevent your upside from going up very, very high. So what this fund that we are launching, which is the multi-asset, it does carry a small amount of debt, but it carries another asset class, which all of you as Indians are very familiar with, and that is gold. You know, from your grandparents' time on age, India has always been a fascination for gold, gold jewelry, and now more recently, gold ETFs, the paper gold as they call it, have been an increasing part of your allocation because gold also does very well at times, right? So when we are now talking about adding gold to this portfolio, you must be wondering about the logic behind that thought process. The logic is that while debt cools down your equity volatility, right? It's like a speed cutter, whereas I would equate the addition of gold as a shock absorber in your portfolio. What does a shock absorber do? A shock absorber in your bike, on your car, when you have a pothole or a speed breaker, it protects you by taking up the load. And then when the highway comes, unlike the speed cutter, the car never slows down in the highway, you can go at your maximum speed. So what gold does is effectively that it does forward some part of protection when equity is volatile, but at the same time it has the capacity to add to your equity returns or allow the equity returns to grow at their natural pace. Why does this happen? What gives this gold this ability to be a shock absorber as opposed to the speed cutter that a debt uh, uh, product typically has? The reason is that gold is a safe haven product. Gold is a product which investors across the world, which are not only individual investors, but governments of the world. 16% of the world's government investment corporates, of all the governments put together, is in gold as an asset class. Is that they tend to shift their investments to gold whenever there is worry in the world. Hyperinflation, wars, right, a weakening dollar, which is indicative of a recession. All of these are the times during COVID. So whenever there is a panic in the world around any of these kind of events, there is a safe haven move to gold and that demand for gold means that at that time gold does well as an asset class. And as you would have realized, all these kind of instances that I mentioned are typically when equities tends to underperform, right. So by adding gold to that, we naturally expect that this would come down. Now how do we say that? When we look at analyzing using an analysis called the rolling returns analysis, which is every day in the existence of a particular index, let's say the nifty or the gold, you can put money in for one year, two years, three years, five years, and on an average, you'll know what has happened, you'll know what is the worst and the best. And what we found is that when you take the time that the MCS gold price index has been in existence, there are about 6,200, let's say one year investment horizons that are there. What we found is that a Nifty in that same period, there are 20% of the time that Nifty gave you losses, negative returns. 
right? And interestingly, when we looked at the same time periods and looked at that when Nifty gave you negative, how did gold behave at that day? We found that in one year returns, 90% of the time, gold gave you a positive return when equity gave you a negative return. So you can straight away see that by adding gold to your portfolio. So when you then see that sometimes when equity is positive, gold also gives 30% of the time more positive return. So during the time, there have been times when equity has been negative and gold has been positive, equity has been negative and gold has been slightly less negative and positive and more positive and less. So you have different scenarios. If you put all these scenarios, we find that roughly 48% of the time on a one year and which is roughly for 3 years and 5 years, roughly around the same, is the time that gold has actually outperformed the nifty in terms of its performance, right? So then you can see that it would be wonderful to have gold in your portfolio whenever equity is doing badly, right? So to that extent, maybe it sounds like a 48-50% allocation of gold to your portfolio makes ideal sense. But let's bear in mind that when equity markets do very well, they will obviously do much, much better because there is an earnings growth in addition to whereas gold is purely a demand supply. So we have chosen 25% which also enables the fund to keep 65% in equity and to allow you equity taxation. So adding gold to your portfolio then acts as a shock absorber in your portfolio. At the same time, it doesn't prevent the uh, ability to generate future returns when conditions are good. So to that extent, we would say that this is a wonderful product for an equity investor where he can add gold to his portfolio but with the currently prevailing soft equity taxation benefits. As you know, compared to the overall taxation rates, a long-term investment in equity funds is taxed at 10% and short-term investment is taxed at 15%. So there is an inherent tax advantage to having an equity taxation in your fund. So what we are happy to present to you is Sundaram Multi-Asset Allocation Fund, which will have at all times a 65% allocation to equity, a targeted 25% allocation to gold, and a targeted 10% allocation to debt. So I welcome you all to invest in this product keeping your long-term goals in mind and happy investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.